Welcome back to the Simon Says YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you just how well the generic Home Assistant thermostat can work for controlling temperatures. And remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more from my channel. So just this morning my brother in Seattle gave me a call and we were talking about all things Home Assistant as we normally do. And he was telling me all about a project that he was doing with his chicken coop. And it obviously in America, it gets pretty cold around this time of the year. So he had built a heating system within the chicken coop. And in order to control that, he was using Home Assistant. And he was telling me how well the generic thermostat was working in this instance. So let's have a look at this generic thermostat within Home Assistant. So this is uh, something that's been created in the Home Assistant system and you can see the basic code here. So effectively it's saying climate and then the platform is generic thermostat. Name for this one is the study. You could select with whichever area you wanted. And then we've got a heater which is currently just a switch, on and off switch and a target sensor which is a temperature sensor so those are all that we need in order to do this so what I'm going to do is show you how this is installed how easy it is and then I will show you some examples of what I did with a very similar thing I was using an electric light bulb being controlled by an Atom smart plug and measuring that with a temperature sensor and I used two different temperature sensors and I can show you the difference in results of the different sensors based on the speed at which they report or the um, frequency at which they report the temperature back to Home Assistant. Um, so as we've seen here, we've got our heater, we've got our sensor. And if you scroll further down here, you'll see that there's a slightly more advanced full configuration version. The beauty about this now is that you can either have heating or cooling. So if you put the AC mode there to true, you could then have it as a, um, a cooling instead of a heating. Um, this has also got some other things um, such as cold tolerance, minimum cycle duration. So that's about how quickly is it going to respond to changes in temperature and switch on and off. So those are the sort of things that you can actually change in order to make this um, thermostat work better based on the situation that you're involved with. So what we're going to do is we're going to go along here, we're going to copy this YAML code and we're going to go along to Studio Code Server on my Home Assistant and we're going to go to our configuration YAML file. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and paste that code in there. Now, what I need to do now is to select my heating switch and my target sensor. So I've saved those two entity IDs over here. So this is our smart plug, and this is going to be turning that light bulb on and off in order to offer the heating and the cooling. So oh, there we go. We'll go back here, and we're going to put that in as the heater. So we'll just paste that in over there. And secondly, we want our temperature sensor. So I'm using a meter plus. Um, that is the SwitchBot temperature sensor that I did a review on recently. I'm really impressed with this tense, uh, sensor. The reason I like this sensor is that it responds really quickly. So when the temperature is changing, it seems to move down to a 30 second interval that it's pushing that out via the low, to low, um, low energy Bluetooth signal. So we'll copy that and we will stick that in as our temperature sensor. All right. So we can also set some other elements here. So our minimum temperature, I might say, for example, that my minimum temperature I want to have in my house is 17. And the maximum temperature, let's say, is 25 degrees, for example. AC mode is false uh, because in this case I'm just switching a heating lamp on and off. But if I was using an AC, I could then go to heating and cooling. Uh, target, target temperature, let's say 21 degrees. Um, the cycle is quite important. You can adjust that to change the how quickly it responds to changes in temperature. And obviously this will allow you to adjust it to make sure that it works best for you. Away temperature, I might say, for example, that I'm going to allow my house to cool down to 15 
degrees when I'm away. All right, so now we're going to go and we're going to restart our Home Assistant. Beauty of the new version is we can just click up here, restart Home Assistant, and restart over there, and it will go. Right, so now that Home Assistant has restarted, we can go along to our dashboard, and we'll go edit the dashboard, and we want to add a card. So what we're going to do now is add the generic thermostat card. So there we go. We click on that over there. And um, this one is the study one that we created. And we can just go save. So there we go. You can see now we can adjust that. We'll just close that off there. We can adjust this thermostat um, from 25 down to 17 as we preset it. So if we want to switch it on, we click the plus there. And you will now see that the little flame is showing that it's turned on. So currently, um, the set temperature is below the ambient temperature, so it's in idle. The moment we move it up here and we get to above the set temperature, you'll see now that it goes into heating mode. So our set temperature is now sitting at 25. Our temperature is sitting at 24 and it's moved into the heating mode. So this is how simple this is and it works really, really well. So now if we have a look at a little graph that I've done here, you will see that it's very interesting to see how this operates. So this is what I was running a little bit earlier on. So initially when I set this up, I created the, I used the Aeronet 4 sensor, the temperature sensor, and that had a much longer reporting cycle. So it was only reporting every five minutes. So you can see here how much above and below um, it's going because of that five minute segment, okay? But when I reset it and I recreated this um, the SwitchBot sensor, you will see now that we've got a much smaller curve around our desired set temperature. So ideally you want a temperature sensor that is going to be reporting really often and giving you those immediate updates so that you can ensure that you are able to manage your temperature, whether it be in your a room of your house or whether it be in a box like my brother's got with his um, heating element in his chicken coop. Anyway, that's all for now. This is a really simple thermostat. There are more complicated thermostats available that you can download from Hex, and I can run into one of those, run you through one of those in future. But this gives you a really good introduction to thermostats and heating and cooling using the Home Assistant engine. Anyway, that's all for now. Have a great week. Bye then.